Hey guys, I'm back with a new video. In this video, we'll learn about iterators in Python. Now, iterator is a way to loop over any collection in Python. Iterators are objects that can be iterated upon. It may happen that at some point in our code, we might want to get back all the individual values in the list. So, we're printing them on the screen, manipulating them, or for performing some action on them. If I ask you, how would you do that? You will say it's easy. I will just loop over them using a for loop, while loop or some of the looping methods that we discussed in the iteration video. Now technically speaking, an iterator object must implement two special methods, the double underscore iter double underscore method and the double underscore next double underscore which collectively constitute the iterable protocol. Well what exactly is iterable then? An object from which you can derive an iterator is called an iterable. Most of the built-in containers in Python that we covered in the data types video are iterables like list, tuple. Let us see an example of iterating with an iterable in Python. Well, for that we have the next function which we can invoke to manually iterate over the list of items of an iterator. When we reach the end and there is no more data to be consumed, it will simply raise a stop iteration error. So let us go back to our Visual Studio code and understand this with the help of an example. Let us define a list of gamers. So Alex, Rishi and Seen. Now to get an iterator we can make use of the iter function and what it does is it under the hood will invoke the double underscore iter double underscore method and returns an iterator. So to get an iterator I can say gamer iterator and iter and pass on the iterable which in this case is gamers. Now to iterate through the iterator I can use the next function so I can say print next and here I will pass on the iterator that I just created so gamer iterator like this and now if I run the file by saying python iterators.py you can see that we are getting Alex locked to the terminal. Now let us again call the next function and again pass on the iterator to get the next value. So right on line 6, let us copy this and paste it down below. And if I now run the file, you can see we are getting the second value as well, which is Rishi as you can see here. And let's do this one more time so I can say like this and run the file. Okay, so we are getting the third value as well. And if I now try to run this one more time, now you can see we are getting a stop iteration error. So you can see that we are no longer getting more values and since there is no value we are getting the stop iteration error. Now we already know a very simple way to iterate over a list and that is using the for loop. So for that I can say for gamer in gamers and print gamer. So using a for loop you can iterate over an object that can return an iterator for example a string dictionary. Now here you can see that a for loop can iterate or any iterable. Now let me tell you how the above for loop is actually implemented in Python under the hood using the iterable protocol that we discussed. So first let us again create an iterator object from the iterable. The iterable in our case is the list of gamers. So let us go right above and comment this out and here I will again create the same iterator. So gamer iterator iter and pass on the gamers iterable. So now we have the iterator with us. I will create an infinite loop now. So as long as it is true, the code block within the while loop will run. So I can say while that is as long as something is true. We will try the following code block. To get the next item, I can use the next function and this will spit out an element. So next pass on the gamer iterator and let us print the element to the terminal and let us do the exception handling as well when no more iterable values are there in that case stop iteration error will occur so accept stop iteration and right here I will print error no more item to get all the items are now exhausted and right here I will break after that now once we get the error immediately we will break out of the while loop and if I now run the file by saying python iterators.py you can see we are again getting these values. So Alex, Rishi, Seen 
and then we got there no more item to get all the items are now exhausted so we are still getting the same output as we got from the for loop now let us move back to our for loop to understand how it is using the iterable protocol under the hood so the for loop which we have defined right on line number 10 so the for loop creates an iterator object by calling the iter function on the iterable and it does all that under the hood by abiding to the iteration protocol next inside the for loop it calls the next function to grab the next element present in the iterable and executes the body of the for loop with the current value after all the items of our iterable which is gamers in this case gets consumed the stop iteration error gets erased which is caught internally and the loop terminates so this was all about the video on iterators in python so if you like the video do give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and colleagues don't forget to hit the bell icon to get the notification for all my upcoming uploads and i will see you guys in the very next one